So what were the top three things, would you say, from the production standpoint that were the toughest? You said that was where most of the problems yeah, or challenges um, resided. I mean, you know, financing is always hard. This, this started with a, a crowdfunding campaign and grew and... Uh, you know, so we had some initial funding come in, but we, we were given deadlines and we kept getting this deadline extended and I needed to get more money in um, or we were going to lose the funding we had. So that was a huge stress. It was like a year and or over a year of trying to raise more money to actually, you know, be able to shoot the film. And um, for me as a producer, it was something, you know, this was new territory to me. I'd, I'd produced, but I hadn't gone out and raised money for a feature before. So... You know, and in LA, everyone's got a film that they think is great that they're trying to get made. So that was really hard, particularly because we had these deadlines. And at some point, you have to. And you know, I went to a lot of producer seminars, and people were like, you know, whatever budget you've got, however small, however big, you're always going to want more. Just, just shoot, just shoot, scale it down, do something, but don't let someone go. Especially in this position where we had some money, you know, I, I wasn't sure if we could make the film for that, but it got to the point where. I just had to go for it and, and you know that was at the point I decided to produce it myself um, but the deadlines were hard like we had a deadline we didn't have a director I really wanted a female director which is also proving hard I think we got a female director in the November we were starting shooting in the January February and we, we, we got her I think maybe September um, but it was November she had to pull out so it was you know it was November we were shooting in two months and we had no director so I met with a lot of directors trying to, you know, trying to get someone who could shoot within that time frame, and that was really hard. I'm like, oh, what do we do now? Like, I really wanted a female director to kind of keep with the whole theme of, you know, we had female writers, female producers. It was a female-driven, driven script. Um, I felt that it really needed a, a female director. Not that I have anything against male directors at all, but for this particular project, I thought, uh, you know, it's a, uh, it's like a whole film, female filmmaker. You know, it's, it just felt right, but it was a struggle because there aren't a whole lot of them out there. And um, the ones that were, were busy or couldn't couldn't work within the deadline. So that was a big stress. And then, you know, th there's all kinds of stuff that came up um, in post. We had a big problem with sound, not because of anything bad to do with the, the sounds on the film, but with the post sound, like we had someone who started, who, who couldn't finish, went to another sound studio. So that took about eight months longer than it should have done. So it was just, you know, it was just, there were things that came up the whole time from a producing standpoint, like, I don't know. I mean, the, the thing that wasn't so hard was distribution, really? you know, because we got to the point I, I approached a lot of distributors and um, Vision Films, our distributor, I'd heard a lot of good things about and went to them and it, it worked out pretty well. But of course, it was a stress to me because at that point I made a film. I didn't know how easy it was going to be to get distribution. So, um, yeah, there, there were a lot of a lot of things that, you know, roadblocks that we hit across the, along the way. And you mentioned briefly uh, about people dropping out, and I think that's an interesting thing about L.A. I think people have great intentions, mm. you know, and they don't mean to flake. Some of them, yeah. maybe they don't care, but I think a lot of people want to keep their word, but for whatever reason, they don't. And so how was that? Did you have to recast or, or add new people in at the last minute? Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it began with a producer who I was going to work with who – you know, had got funding and, you know, it turned out he hadn't got funding. Oh, and, but you know, these people, you know, this was for me starting very early on and it was someone actually I knew. And so that was something, that was the first one that I hit, like, you know, just be honest, like, you know, just, if you haven't got the money, great, we can work on it together. But, you know, so there was that kind of thing. And then there was a director that I was gonna work with, but it was, you know, everyone's kind of hedges their bets. It's like, unless it's your own project, they're like, yeah, yeah, I wanna do your project. Yeah, it's good. have you got the money yet? No, okay, well, when you get the money? And then it's <laughs> like, you know, well, I'm not really gonna work with you. I, I want a job, I'll, I'll be employed and help you, but you have to do all the work. And then if I think if it's gonna be successful, then I might jump on. So it was really hard to find people that were really passionate and committed. Um, that would be great to work with and stay the course that, you know, because there is always going to be bigger, better projects. So you want someone to, to be, and actually that was something that happened to us during filming. We had a couple of crew members drop out to go and work on big budget movies. So our line producer was constantly, you know, trying to find new lighting, trying to find, <laughs> that was something we lost. Actually, we lost one of our gaffers during filming and we were desperately trying to find another one um, because people don't want to commit. 
Um, sure. But you know, we, we had a lot of people that were really great, that were really committed, that we couldn't have made this film without. Um, but it was, you know, there was a few people along the way that I thought were going to be great to work with, but you know, other things come along and basically, like I say, if it's not their project, the commitment's just not always there. Right. Sometimes it's surprising the ones that seem so committed or, you know, overzealous in the beginning, or maybe that's the wrong word, but, and they're the ones that actually drop out and ones that don't, you, you, you you're not even sure of, and then they actually stay the course. Sometimes yeah. It's very surprising. Yeah, and it's really nice, you know, I've met people on this film like crew and, and post, you know, post-production people that I will definitely go on and work with on my next film. You know, there's some really good people out there. It's sure. just, um, you know, it's it's just who you gel with and, you know, who, who gets it and who's, you know, commitment is a big thing. Right, yeah. Well, there's so many things in L.A. too that are going on and people also have other jobs or whatever, yeah. so I know that's yeah. that's one of the, the issues that... I yeah, we, we did actually have... Um, one of the one of the lead one of the other lead actresses and um, we had someone commit for four months and then they pulled out so we had to recast so there was a little bit of that going on but not too much with the with the actresses because we cast really close to filming so um you know everyone kind of knew by then what their schedules were there was one role uh, ruth connell who plays the role of stacy she was initially meant to play the role of sharon the editor but she was filming on supernatural so she had a friend marina certis who now plays sharon the editor um who's from star trek next generation so she got her to fill in for her role actually so that was another thing that i created later for ruth the role of stacy was not written into the original script but Ruth is a great friend of mine, a great actress, and I really wanted her involved. So um, those scenes actually came later, the role of Stacy that we went and shot after the initial 15-day shoot because Ruth was committed to Supernatural at the time. 